Pues el día de hoy estamos aquí en Exens Milán, Italia, porque vamos a hablar acerca de unos perfumes, entrevistar a gente y lo más curioso, perfumes que tienen hormonas, así que pues vamos a ver. Bueno, pues estamos aquí con Tiziana Terenzi, una de mis casas favoritas, así que sin duda la mayoría de ustedes conocen. Estamos aquí with, we are here with... Paolo Terenzi. Paolo Terenzi, yeah. Tiziana Terenzi. The one and only, the, the most famous of all the convention, I will say. I really admire your work. It's actually one of my favorite and most complimented phrases. It's going to be Kirke, and I truly love it. So, first of all, I just want to say that how do you became making the brand? Why did you start making the brand? Well, the story of the brand is the story of the family. Uh, Tiziana okay. and I were a brother and sister, and we got the fortune to born in a family, they created candle and perfume since 1968. So we are the third generation, we try to get this legitimacy mm -hmm. and to enter into the more world of the artistic perfumery with a tribute, a tribute uh, for our father that he passed away many years ago unfortunately, mm -hmm. but he's still living our life. So this is an expression of our love and the spirit of the artistic perfumery with no compromise and no sense of making business. Mm -hmm. It became a business later on, but it's not uh, the scope of our goal because in our company we produce for many brands uh, and we have the privilege to, to have a wealthy life. Here we express in all, all our love. Tiziana taking care about all the design and the creation, the creativity and the She did an amazing job and now we are in 120 countries and we are going to expand even more and we are very happy. Uh, I believe you work together, so yeah, that's correct. Yeah. And those work and fight together. Um, <laughs> but do you, for example, Tiziana, do you make any fragrance in particular or Pablo make all the fragrances in particular or you work together to create one? We share in Cosmos everything, but mm -hmm. Paolo is the nose of the family and I'm um, the design. Oh, perfect. In, in our company. So you, yeah. you can say that you were the one that created all the Tiziana Terenzi brand? Yes, yes. I created the image, but because the image and what is inside in the bottle are coherent in the same story, mm. we have to be very close and we work together every day. Okay. There is no, not distinguished from one part of the job or the other. Okay. Uh, you cannot say who is doing what. Okay. She's uh, the, the best part of the family, the brilliant person. I am the, the naughty boy. But and this is the do. best gentleman no, ever but, in the world. This is real. It's a really, our yeah. power is because we are two of us and uh, not only one. Okay, is, uh, you, you work together as a family to yes. make it work out. Yeah. Perfect. And this is uh, the situation. In good and bad uh, situation. So, other question that I have is, if, for example, I start with where Tiziana lays first. Uh, what's your favorite fragrance that you all you have? Like, the one I that you I love all of them. I know. I like a pizza, you <laughs> it's know, It's a really us. difficult in question. In any story, in any bottle, there is a meaning, there is something behind that is a real emotion of our life. So I cannot remove any one of them. And, well, If you want to ask me what I'm wearing, well, that will the be perfect. biggest part of my life, I'm with Atlantide. Okay. So what's the friend that you're wearing? Atlantide. Atlantide. And can you tell Even us? today I have this one. Oh, okay. But I love all of them and I often change. And can you tell us a little bit uh, the background, the story of the fragrance that you're wearing ah. today? This fragrance is in a chapter that is a, a, a special celebration and tribute for my brother. This, as you can see, easily is a very good gentleman and a very great artist, beautiful in and out. <laughs> and uh, it was a special birthday, so I was thinking to a special collection in design that can be representative of this uh, beautiful man. And I selected the idea of the sister because he's a sailor, he's a man of sea. Man of the sea. So, and one of the sister is that the represented the, the island that is under the sea. Okay. Atlantide. 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 Okay. So, and in That's this interesting. Pregnancy, we tell uh, this uh, mysterious and beautiful story. I love the story, actually. Yeah. And one particularity of Atlantide that mm -hmm. is important also for the Mexican audience that, that mm -hmm. there is a very, very precious. Uh, Mexican tuberose inside. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. The most beautiful that uh, we met in our that. life. And Paolo, the same question for you. What's the fragrance that, I mean, I don't know if you have the favorite one or the, the yeah. fragrance that you use the most, maybe? I use several of our fragrances. Uh, and uh, of course, as Tiziana say, 
there are all kids and uh, you love it equally even mm -hmm. if the love is different from one on one is uh, like for your kids as well because they need different love i love to wear several fragrances today i'm wearing tile uh, from the uh, Surte collection but i also love to to wear a leon uh, on pinto canto uh, i'm wearing i'm quite often amber from jardino um, benesser so it's more dependent by my mood for sure, I'm wearing only Terence perfumes. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the, the one you're wearing right now? Uh, teal, it's called. Oh, teal. Teal, or teal. teal. Uh, it's, a, it's a, an absoluto, it's a very exclusive fragrances that it came from the library of our grandpa, that he collected 50 years ago, all the many, many special fragrances. And now we have this uh, privilege to give them uh, to the public only a few bottles per year, the 200 bottles worldwide Good. of this precious nectar. Ah oh, man, I love tequila. I love. I, I used to work for a, a company, Patron. Ah, Patron. Yeah, yeah I know it. Yeah, it's it's either tequila US. or. Yes, tequila, Patron. No, but. Patron Julio, uh, yes. Patron. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But we we drink. I like uh, what's the name? Uh, um, uh, but I we love drink that. a lot of tequila and bacanora. So yeah, it's, I like I like mezcal, tequila. Mezcal. That's I like thing. tequila a lot. So, yeah. You go so, crazy yeah. about it. Well, depends on how you drink it. No, like I drink. Even I can drink or... a lot, like straight up. Like oh, okay, that's dangerous, but okay. <laughs> well, thanks for having me. No, thanks for yeah, you yeah. having me. It's a pleasure yeah, of course. to be here. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So let's start with it. So, what does the Fugazi idea come from? Like, like the whole idea of Fugazi was born like in my last uh, study uh, study year in fashion. Okay, so and you started fashion. I, yeah, I studied fashion, and uh, I never had the exp uh, like idea to to make a perfume brand. Honestly, okay. but I love to make fragrances and blend them already in the last mm -hmm. year of my uh, school because I went to Egypt with my grandfather, okay. and then I started to learn about essential oils and uh, how Cleopatra uh, seduced Julius Caesar with already sandalwood oil, oil okay. like a long time ago. You know those stories they yeah. can tell you there. So I started to fall in love more and more with fragrances. And when I get home, I used to learn from my fashion school how to make concepts about yeah, how to make a fashion brand. But I try to do it like with Google as my best friend, how to blend like oils, um, the way it should work with fragrance in top note, middle note and base note. That's the only thing I know. So I start to, all the oils all over the place on the internet and start to blend and had a concept in mind to make a fragrance right. about being the topic genderless. So that, that I believe the fragrance that you were designing at that time is exactly. the number one. It's one. Exactly, it's one. And that's actually my yes. favorite one so far. Oh, that, that, that sounds perfect because you have to imagine that I start to blend and blend but I, I didn't know how to make a fra fragrance oil or you have to go to a house to help you technical wise because it's very technical. The correct way to do Yeah, it. exactly. So at a certain point I uh, was introduced to a perfume house but I had huge like uh, like mind maps and uh, mood boards like the fashion way yeah. how to uh, what the feeling should be with the fragrance and I had already like blended up perfume one for let's say 70 70 percent not okay. finalized how it is now and they were laughing that at my manufacturing like we never saw an approach yeah, okay. like this you know but let's say we're gonna help you and uh, that turned out into perfume one but I didn't have any money or whatever so I had, uh, had uh, bought a machine on uh, AliExpress to, to blend the <laughs> okay. uh, fragrance oil, what was super expensive and nice, yes. with the uh, uh, alcohol and stuff. They blended it for me, but I need to fill the bottles. And I, I bought like online 500 stock bottles and I kept uh -huh. and used to fill them up with my sister and my dad. And that was my first born perfume. You and still have one of those bottles? Yeah, yeah I, I still have it. Yeah, I still okay. have it. I can send it to you. Oh, and uh, <laughs> then I started to sell them in one designer boutique in Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, but I, I didn't like no, it turned out to be a brand. I just did something I liked, you know. It was not the idea to make a huge brand or whatever. But you have to imagine that when I had that one perfume, I started selling on a Saturday in that uh, four designer boutique in okay. Amsterdam. It's a beautiful store. And uh, yeah, they gave me the opportunity to sell it like besides uh, brands like Balenciaga and Tom yes. Ford, so it's really high end. So you you were in the place, exactly. Not the place, the so place. I was there. I was there with a couple of my stock bottles, and everyone used to love the perfume one. But I didn't call it perfume one at that time. I called it Fugazi because Fugazi, yeah. the meaning of Fugazi is, you know, like maybe yeah. the Wolf of Wall Street, like yeah. it's a wuzzy, it's a woozy, it's a fairy dust, you know, like that. And for me, a, a fragrance was at that time the concept something you spray on, but you do not see around you. Right. You have Some an imagination 
with a specific person if you wear perfume one I have a specific feeling with you okay. so that's why you see the logo like you, you you think it's a Russian D but it's not it's mirrored so actually okay. it's not a word at all it's like you cannot even spell it it's a real it's, fugazi it so the word fugazi like how we spell it it is in the correct way exactly it's like okay. slang for like uh, the untouchable or replicas you some use it for fake or real diamond you don't see the difference okay. they look both the same from like this but if you look close up it's a difference so you have to believe in something that's it's real okay. and that for me is a perfume as well to seduce people or well, to convince people yeah. but at that time i didn't know i was gonna have a whole range of perfumes what i have now now we have 10 after three years but at that time i called that one perfume a fugazi so i was like after the uh, uh, boutique I sold in, the first day I sold 15 pieces of the perfume. So I was super excited yeah, that, and happy. That's, that mean, that's a lot, actually. Yes, and, and that gives you confidence, you yeah. know. So I was knocking on the door at one of the biggest distributors in the Netherlands who does Creed and Barredo. So it was for me the top notch uh, distributor there. And they have their own boutiques and they call Skin Cosmetics. And uh, they give me the opportunity to launch one perfume without any brand book or brand guide. I, I only had my story and, and a nice perfume. perfume. Yeah. And I said like, hey, we take it, but you have to work on other perfumes. So I, I was thinking, shit, now I have a problem because I call I one perfume Fugazi. <laughs> And how do I call like the brand? You know, I had the brand and the name like one. So I decided to call the brand Fugazi and then my first creation Perfume One. And after the all the other creations we have crazy names like Thirsty, Sugar Daddy, in love with the Cocos, uh, now we got like Cash flower the, coming the up. No, the, the no cologne, uh, I believe, the new one? Yes, a new one. No cologne is coming up. It's like a cologne is normally 4% of perfume oil. We put in 30%, so we sure. call it no cologne extra de parfum. So a long lasting col cologne. fresh cologne. That is not a cologne. But. Exactly. So we have a kind of different approach to the, to the, I think, to the fragrance industry. And I put as much fragrance oil inside as possible. For example, Sugar Daddy had like 50% of perfume oil, 5-0. It's okay. crazy. You can even almost not spray it anymore because it's too it's, thick it's, on your yeah. skin. So yeah, that's a little bit how the story started and uh, step by step. That's yes. actually pretty interesting. Like, yeah. How you got from like pretty much nothing to making the own brown by just making yeah, just one knocking bottle. on the doors and uh, be nice <laughs> to people. Yeah. And uh, if people, uh, how do you say in English, that they uh, um, give you the opportunity yeah. to show yourself, you need that people, like early adapters who believe in you and your brand. Yeah. And yeah, you have to push on to that. You, you heard like, let's say uh, 500 times no, and the, the 501 times bad. they say yes. And then step by step, yeah, you're gonna make you it. going in the right places. And then another distributor think, oh, they have it and I want it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you get in the, and you go, you can only go at the nicest stores in my opinion in the beginning, because if you make the bad decision to yeah. not go to the right stores, nobody wants you. And now after three years, we have a lot of nice boutiques like Browns in London, and we got down four. We got beautiful distributors like uh, uh, Five Cent Square in Spain. We got uh, uh, Skins Cosmetic in the Netherlands, Finnmark in Italy. Uh, so we cover almost around 300, 350 doors already now with the brand. And we're looking to get more even. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's not necessarily more. There is no limit. Yeah, I mean, there's a limit for niche in my opinion. You have to, you want to have a, like. Um, it should be available in the big cities. It should be an experience to buy Fugazi, in my yes. opinion. So it's not about like the number of doors, it's about the whole, how needy people are to get it. Yeah, I get it. I get so it. you would have to travel for it to get it. And I think 350 stores worldwide sounds a, a lot, but yeah, we have many, many countries. So yeah, that's uh, I think very, very uh, normal number. And I have one one other question. Like, from all of your fragrances, which one is the one that you use the most? Or uh, the, the most lately, favorite one? I have to admit, because when I wear the fragrance, I test a lot of new fragrances during the day. So you have your current collection, yeah. you're busy with that, but I'm testing a lot during the day new stuff. Okay. But when I go out or do a dinner or whatever, I mostly lately I wear a Sugar Daddy together with Orange Crush. Okay. That's layering. Oh, and layering. It's beautiful. Yeah. I would try that out. Yeah, it's crazy. It's like the older parfums are both made to layer because one is based on Cashmeran and the other one is based on Isoe Super and Ambrox. Okay. So it's like flatline as we call it. They go all the way like for hours and they do not change over time. 
Okay, so, I will definitely be trying that. Yeah, already. definitely, we can, we can do that after. I, I will do it later. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, awesome. thank you a lot for your time. Yeah, I really, of course, love I really appreciate it. And thanks for having me here. Yeah, yeah, it's place. like the idea was like because we're searching for international partners, like fly with us, we're searching yeah. for new opportunities. We're flying right now. And we're flying, like, uh, <laughs> and, we, and we never land. <laughs> yeah, right, perfect, man. Really appreciate so it. <laughs>
Hola, pues aquí estamos en Yo Voy con nada más y nada menos que. Nos, can you tell us your name, please? Yeah, uh, François, François. François. And uh, first of all, let me know you like all of your fragrances. Vous pouvez llamar me Paco. Es uh, muy fácil para usted. Paco. Paco es el, el, uh, la reducción, no sé cómo se dice en español, de François. Paco. 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 Okay. <laughs> uh, can you show us your favorite collection? Your uh, favorite favorite fragrance that you personally have? Uh, so we, we, we have two collections actually, Jovo and Jeroboam. I will show you one of each. Uh, yes, please. All right, if cool. we can. This is one. This is what I'm wearing. Okay. As an old man, <laughs> when I want to smell young like him, so it's a trick. When you're old like me, you try to look a bit younger <laughs> okay. <laughs> because it does work. So uh, Vespero is a fresh, um, uh, very masculine perfume worn by a lot of women because they are very confident with this uh, kind of shaving cream, masculine, clean uh, universe. Um, very sparkling, good lasting. Uh, as an um, extract. Okay. So I recommend it to all, to all the old one like all me. The old people. Oh, <laughs> simply the young one. But who, I, I, I can smell it already, and I believe that I can use it. You I could mean, use it. I, I mean, I have a lot of taste because my work <laughs> imp implies to like all the fragrances, but right. I will wear it. Cool. Right. Well, that's that's one. That's one. And um, fire the wheel. Fire the wheel. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Actually, I was the first reviewer to bring the the, right. the review on the fragrance. Cool. It's my favorite of all times fragrances. Uh, that's very kind of you. Uh, it's true that uh, with uh, the the perfumer Vanilla Moachol, we wanted to make a no surrender kind of vanilla <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because uh, we, we 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 all know that vanilla uh, is like a high seduction everybody understands yeah, it is the most i believe it's the most attractive no uh, most watering it's an invitation to be bitten eaten mm. uh, yeah. so here the secret of this uh, vanilla that we use a little bit of um, uh, mimosa mimosa flower yes. which gives it some uh, kind of uh, uh, volatility uh, for something which is generally in the in the bottom of the perfume we're a bit technical, but uh, bon. uh, just to say, uh, you can't resist fire as well because they won't. It's a fragrance that that's my most one of the most complimentary fragrances that I get. All right, cool. So, <laughs> so it does work. Ooh. Ooh, I love it. Believe me. <laughs> well, as a, if I had to to pick two perfumes, I would pick these ones. But you have others. Um, we can talk about it whenever you want. Well, I would love to. Okay, cool. Okay. Well, thank you so much. The pleasure is mine. Yes. Nice and, to meet uh, you. Uh, I have a few things to show to you, but okay. off camera, this is for the future. Okay. <laughs>started about a couple of years ago uh, me and my partners had this idea that most of the brands were focusing more on the scent and the collaboration with you know like heroines or heroes okay. for these brands and we wanted to focus more on the emotional aspect of the fragrance and how every scent that you smell actually makes you feel a different thing. Yes. You know, like uh, sometimes when you smell, if you like sweet odors and you smell a woman that has a sweet perfume, you're like, oh, I'm attracted to that yeah. smell. You know, and, and so we were like, okay, so if you can get attracted to a smell, how can we create a smell to give you the hormone of attraction? You know, which is yes. perspective. So, so is the same, is the same idea of remember something just by the smell? Exactly. Okay. So the same way that you, when you, when you smell poop, you know, okay. you're not very Weird happy. Weird example, but it's You're okay. not really very happy, you know. But if you smell cut grass, you're like, ah, oh, it's, it's it smells fresh. Yes. It smells like spring, you know. It smells like the outdoor, and I like adventure. Yes. So it, it's the same thing, and because and going from that, we're like, okay, but how do we analyze the feeling, or how do we? So we started thinking, okay, great. So what is something that comes in our body and makes us feel a certain way and it's hormones so okay. hormone is the messenger it's like your brain telling the rest of your body what to feel yes. you know and so we're like okay great what if we could tell the brain what to tell the rest of the body okay okay and this is how it started and and we started looking into ingredients you know and like okay so woods any type of wood any smell of wood would make you feel like home love uh, yes. You know, like these more kind of, like calid. So, exactly. So uh, the caspeptin is gonna have a lot of woody notes. You know, um, 
if we're talking about mood boosting, it's like citrusy flavors, you know, like lemons and oranges Almost, yeah. and and so on. And so serotonin, which is the mood boosting, is gonna have a lot of these kind okay. of notes inside. That Makes sense? Yes, it yeah? is. It's so, let's start you off with adrenaline. Don't go adrenaline. running anywhere. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Oh wow. Si puedes sentir de que un pequeño boost, you can actually feel the adrenaline. Yes. Well, it's so, yeah, well, you can feel a surge. You can feel a surge of emotions, you know? Yes. When you smell it, you're like, "Whoa, my nose is and going then up." Have, my eyes like open up bigger, <laughs> so yeah. Serotonin just to calm you down a bit because Serotonina. Serotonina, exactly. So it's a mood boosting hormone, okay? Which boosts any type of feeling, activity, physical, mental that you're actually doing. Oh, it's actually citrus? Yes, yes, it, yes. exactly. I really like it's, it. And it's I our best seller. It. Best seller, okay. Yeah. I love it. And then there's uh, GABA. Casi cremoso, polvado. And then we have GABA. GABA is our GABA. calming hormone. Calm, okay. So it's hormone of calm, and it's being used now for a Para lot calmar. of medical aspects as well. Um, Okay. But specifically, GABA is an acronym. It's G-A-B-A. -A. You can actually feel it. You, I, and, I can feel it. it. And it it's, um, it literally means it, so it's gamma antiburic acid. Okay. Okay. Which is the hormone of calm. I want to sleep right now. <laughs> no, it's not that calm. No, I mean okay. I can feel I'm, I'm it. I'm happy that you can feel it. <laughs> but it's so really incredible. So there's a lot incredible. of ash in it. There's you know it's it's very grounding it's, in terms of scent. It's actually and it really good. takes you through the story and the, his, and the feelings that you can get from different. If you want to try more, I can make you smell them. Yes, please. I will yeah. love them. So, this is our sugar rush, dopamine, which is... Okay. The happiness. Yes, hormone. Exactly. Hormone of happiness. And happiness is sugar, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you have an epiphany it. in your head when you eat yes. a high high calorie content food like, like fast food, food a hamburgers like, uh, pizza uh, like, coca cola uh, uh, sugars ice cream so yes. on it's because your brain is overwhelmed by how much calories it's getting it's so happy it's like i'm getting so much energy right now okay, okay? and and because of that it just sends a lot of neurotransmitters go firing up okay. so that's why this one is very very sweet as well in order to make it understand or make it feel like oh i just got a rush of energy pues aquí estamos en finance paris que es una de las mejores casas una de mis personales favoritas y estamos aquí con Sophie. Sophie. Sí, me llamo Sophie Bruno, soy la creadora de la marca Renaissance. Mucho gusto conocerte. Eh, primero que nada, ¿de dónde surge esta casa? O sea, ¿por qué le nació hacerla? La, la casa es de París, de Francia, y pues la marca ha sido lanzada hace, bueno, en 2015, y pues ahora tenemos nueve perfumes. Nueve, ok. Sí, sí. Y más o menos, ¿qué es lo que a usted, o sea, usted dijo que, sabes qué, quiero crear mi, mi marca, pues me nació la idea por algo? ¿De por qué lo, lo he lanzado? Sí, ¿por qué? O, pues eh, yo quería, quería dar más calidad para los clientes y okay. para que sean fieles a sus perfumes, que es cuestión de, de pasión también. <risa> y entonces por eso uh, pues, eh, decidí hacer primera colección que se llama colección Notas de Fondo, okay. colección Notes de Fond, uh -huh. y que es una como una ruptura, ¿no? Es sí. algo muy diferente porque no tenemos esta típica pirámide olfativa sí, sí. con las notas de cabeza y corazón, sí. se puede decir, ¿no? Corazón y, sí. y luego notas sí. de fondo. Y solo tona, tenemos notas de fondo en, en esta primera sí. colección okay. y 100%. Por mm. esta razón tienen larga duración y más, son más uh, potentes, ¿no? mm. intensos okay. los perfumes y con alta poder de seducción, ¿no? y, uh, y sí, long lasting, long lasting. Uh, se puede Dura decir mucho. que es lo que a la, la gente le gusta mucho sí. y, y además con uh, y, uh, Estela que es muy importante para reconocer el sillage, ¿sabe? Para sí. reconocer, memo memorizar, memorizar lo que se vuelve como tu signatura mm. personal. Sí, sí. Y eso es el tema de la, de la colección Notes de Fondo. ¿Y por qué, por qué solo Notas del Fondo? Es algo que es, no es común en la perfumería, como mencionó, pero ¿por qué solo las Notas de Fondo? ¿Por la pura duración? Sí, por larga duración y, bueno, la explicación es algo de que mis... ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, química. Sí, 
química, <risa> perdón, es que las moléculas estas de notas de fondo uh, pesan más, uh, tienen más peso y por eso se quedan más tiempo en la piel okay. y por eso la larga duración, intensidad y es lo que se queda después de todo, después de horas y horas, lo que se queda en tu piel son estas notas de fondo okay. y yo quería estar directamente dentro y la gente es lo que más le gusta Perfecto. normalmente. ¿Y nos puede mostrar un poco de sus nuevos lanzamientos? ¿Perdón? Sus sí. nuevos lanzamientos que los podemos sí, oler. son uh, estos tres perfumes que es nueva colección entonces porque la gente ya le apetece también notas frescas mm, y que sí. era algo como un challenge sí. de, de hacerlo, misma calidad, o sea, uh, intensidad uh -huh. de estelas sí. y uh, también de long lasting, o sea que uh -huh. se queda muchísimo tiempo en la piel que es, se parece imposible para sí. nuestras frescas. Y, sí. y si, si piensas por eso lo de, de notas de cabezas, pues uh -huh. eso quiere decir que pues, okay. después de unos minutos no se marchan ¿no? Sí. y no nos no duelen. Y entonces pues mucho trabajo, años de trabajo y también de, de uh, técnicamente otra vez ruptura de hacerlo diferente en otro modo y pues el tema es cortar las moléculas, por ejemplo la, la, la cabeza, los, las notas más frescas de las notas de fondo, o sea de, de patchouli por ejemplo o de muscos o de maderas uh -huh. que sí colecta solamente la parte fresca, no lo que huele, la no la fresca. sensualidad caliente de estas notas, sí, sí. pero la parte técnica, la, la cabeza de estas notas, mm. pues tienes algo que lo hemos dicho como una autopista de frescura, digamos, sí. algo técnico que yo quería que sea um, construido primo, uh -huh. um, uh, uh, sí. Y al principio construir esto, que es algo como técnico. Y luego sobre esto, identidades muy frescas, originales y con materias primas, uh, sí, 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 nuevas y Perfecto. bonitas y de alta calidad, como lo que hacemos de costumbre. Entonces, pues tenemos tres, la que es de Bergamot y Racine. Racine, Racine es raíces, sí. que son de Vetiver, de Tanahoria. Okay. Eh, gingembre, no, ¿cómo se dice gingembre? Ay, gingembre, ¿no? Gengibre. 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 Sí, y pues que son notas uh, frescas, frescas, pero entonces se quedan muchísimo volátiles, tiempo. Pero aquí no. Sí, y zanahoria también es sí. muy moderno. No, no para, es común. Y original, claro. Y con baba cedra, que es el, el con baba, es este, esta fruta, no sé si lo puedo Bergamota. ver fruta verde que sí. no es agresivo pero uh, sí que, que, que como una explosión sí. ¿no? de, de, de frescura que es um, entre el bergamot y uh, lime y luego y cedra uh, también viene con men, menta, menta. Sí, sí. hojas de menta ah. fresca y pues bueno, otras materias primas muy, muy frescas de, y, y el tercero que es uh, gingembre, jengibre y uh -huh. latte, pues eh, como la leche, pero imagínate un, un vaso de leche con hielo okay. y luego es de jengibre, Fresco, y, uh, cremoso. lemon gas y mm. de verbena, verbena, uh, verbena. verbena y pues sí, de cardamom, de pues otras materias, muchas, sí. pero entonces también algo muy original. Sí. Y una última pregunta, si tuviera que escoger alguna de, su, de sus propias fragancias para el resto de la vida o su favorita, ¿cuál sería? Es que... Muy difícil. Sí, sí, claro, la, para mí la, la vanilla, la vanilla, vanilla, uh, vanilla sí. benzoino, me gusta muchísimo por la mañana, por ejemplo, pero... A la, a la hora de salir por la noche me gusta claro. Pachuli Wood, que claro. es muy sensual y, y pues me gusta muchísimo y depende de la, depende, de la sí. ocasión, claro, cuando estoy buscando a Frescor, el combado, combado sí. Sí. me encanta, es más cuestión de ocasión. Sí. de cómo se siente, sí. El, la, sí. Sí. perfecto, lo entiendo. Sí. Sí. Pues muchísimas gracias por tenerme el día de hoy, gracias se lo agradezco muchísimo, sí, muchas gracias. gracias.